All right, hey Virgo, what we're doing is romance or roommates. I'm gonna try to stick with these. I'm just gonna see what uh, viewers are looking at most. Uh, so if you guys um, continue to watch these, depending on how many likes and all that good stuff, I'll keep doing them. So romance or roommate for Virgo. I'm gonna get the recent past history. Recent past history for Virgo and their person. So we have Justice, we have the Star, and we have the Three of Pentacles. So um, I feel like when you guys, in the recent past history, it's a feeling of um, wish fulfillment. Um, it, it could be that, you know, there was a legal matter or something, but I mean, it could be that uh, somebody um, finally got divorced from somebody so that they could um, be with the one that they wanted. OK, um, you guys can take it how it resonates on or on whatever you know spectrum. But I also feel like you guys um, totally just um, fell in love with each other. Right. And it could be that somebody divorced somebody and then you guys got together and you've been waiting for that. But, you know, it just um, just right out the gate um, wishes being fulfilled by finding each other in each other's arms. And it could be a, a new relationship. It could be um, one that has a little bit a little bit of time under its belt. Um, but we're just going to lead up to the point as of now that what caused the, um, the situation to feel kind of stag stagnant or like roommate-y. All right, so we're gonna get the current energies for Virgo and their person. With the current energies, one more please, thank you. For Virgo and their person, all right. So we have, um, the wheel. We have temperance, and we have the hermit. All right, so the current energies, I feel like um, this relationship has taken a complete, it's done a 180, right? Um, I don't feel like you guys are speaking very much, even though you're kind of tiptoeing around each other, but I just want to point out that in this spread that we've barely just done, there's only six cards. Five of them are major arcana, and I do feel like um, when you have more major arcana than minor, it's a divinely guided connection, okay? Um, but I feel like with the wheel, it's saying there's been a 180 to the situation. Um, the balance is kind of imbalanced, and that's why we are tiptoeing around each other or going into hermit mode, not really speaking to each other. So we're going to ask what caused the struggle. the struggle please two more one more please thank you all right so we have judgment Another major arcana. We have the Initiate of Wands, which is like the Queen of Wands. And then we have the uh, Five of Wands. All right, so what caused the struggle? So, um, if this is a situation where somebody got divorced and then y'all came together, um, I almost feel pretty certain that this uh, Queen of Wands energy, this uh, ex of your partner, has came back around. Um, because we have the judgment and the justice, I just feel like um, somebody from the past, and I almost feel like it's the ex of whoever I'm speaking to, um, not your ex, but the person that you're with, their ex, um, it has come back around to um, cause a little bit of um, stir in this new relationship. Okay, and that's where the Five of Wands is coming in, the conflict. 
Um, and it, I'm not going to be reading this for everybody, right? But I just feel like if this is a newly, uh, uh, a newly together thing because your person um, divorced, then the person they divorced has come back to cause trouble in your relationship. And that's what's causing conflict between you and your person. All right. So what can we do to repair this? What can Virgo do to repair this situation? Is there anything they need to do? For Virgo, please, what advice can you give them? What do they need to do to help this situation? Sorry, guys, I don't like to flip cards on my own. I like to all right. So what can you do, Virgo? We have the Six of Swords, which speaks of moving away, right? We have the Queen of Swords, whether you are a female or male. And then we have the Ace of Wands. All right. So what I feel like the universe is telling you is um, to stay in stay in a good state of mind with the Queen of Swords. You need to tell your person how you feel about the situation that happened. All right. Um, but you guys are brand new. I feel like with this Ace of Wands, you guys are, are brand, brandly new trying to do this thing together. Okay. And I feel like what they're telling you is just to move past the situation that, that comes in and just... Um, trust that what the situation is because I do feel like this is a, you and your person have been divinely guided together all right so don't let this one person could they're they're a karmic okay they're gonna come back in and they're gonna they're gonna they're still gonna have to reap some of their own like they're gonna be fixing their own karma every time they do something like this okay but I feel like what the universe is telling you is just to move away from it and be the bigger person okay you, you need to enjoy the new beginning that you have with your person but you know tell them how you feel about the situation don't keep it cooped up right just make sure you're talking about your feelings and you're not being guarded you're not um not speaking to them because i, I really feel like it's not really their fault um, unless they're just like not sticking up for you um you know not telling their person hey look i got this new thing going on you're out you know so what can their person do to help the situation virgo's person what can they do to help this situation two more please thank you person do to help the situation sorry I see one more please there we go all right so what can um what can your person do okay so we have the elemental of wands we have the Four of Swords, and then we have Death. All right, so I feel like what the universe is is saying is that um, your person um, can, you know, firstly, you know, they need to contemplate the situation, right? Um, I do feel like they're telling your person that they need, they can um, extend you uh, elemental, um, they, they can extend you, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? like an apology, an offering, a peace offering, right? But they can also extend their person the closure. So your person just really, I feel like they need to take some time out and think of how they're going to exp explain to you um, and explain to their person. And if you can just get that past that point where, you know, um, he, the, your person, he or she is not trying to hurt you, right? Um, and I feel like, you know, your person just needs to, to think about how they are going to, you know, give this person one last thing, which is going to be, you know, um, get out of my life, goodbye, you know, um, especially if there are no kids involved. But even if there are kids involved, it's like, hey, I don't want to talk to you unless it's about the kids, you know, that type of situation. Like, don't don't approach me. Don't come in here. Don't involve yourself in my life with with my new person. You know, this has nothing to do with you. So you need to stay out of it. Right. And then um, a possible outcome for the situation. Possible outcome for Virgo and their person, please. Two more, please. 
you get two more points for Virgo and their person. Six of Wands, the Victory card, in case you didn't know what that is, the Novice of Swords, and we have the Universe. All right, so I feel like the cycle is going to be closed out, you know. Um, there is an end to the this Novice of Swords. Um, there is going to be a closing out of that cycle, and there is going to be... Um, you know, the victory Virgo that you want and deserve. Okay. And with that being said, I'll just pull a romance angel for you. Let's get a romance angel, please, for Virgo. How do they feel about their partner? Just for the feel. Let's see. So we're speaking to you, please. Sorry, guys. You know I don't like to pick on myself. There. All right. So, Virgo, how do you feel about your person? Let go of control issues. So, if you're trying to control the situation, just take a step back and let your person do it. Because I feel like that's what they need to do. How does Virgo feel about their person? Oh. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, Virgo, if you um, appreciated this reading, please subscribe, like, share, comment. All right. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.